a bunch of videos showing military equipment being transported by train or being driven through cities are going viral as people are starting to freak out because the National Guard is being deployed and the National Guard is being deployed. I mean, what do you think's going on, man? You know, all the time we see viral videos showing military moving equipment and people start spreading conspiracy theories about what they think, what they think is really happening. Let me just tell you something, man. Sometimes the military moves equipment. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Now, there's some funny comments because apparently a bunch of viral videos have been coming out of Illinois specifically. I even had a friend send me videos of a whole bunch of uh, military vehicles, look, looks like Humvees, being uh, on a train moving through the suburbs of Chicago. And they think there's some kind of mass mobilization. First of all, they made a really great point, And we'll read the comment from the National Guard. They were like, uh, if we're going to bring in Humvees, we would just drive them. We're not going to put them on trains and then what walk to where the Humvees are going. So a lot of people, right. But let me, let me show you these videos first, because as much as we, this is world star hip hop, by the way, gotta love that site. As much as a lot of people are saying, you know, it's just the military and train is, uh, train stuff is just moving. We are seeing the national guard mobilize. So you will see these videos. Check this out. This video appears to be from New York and you can see what appears to be several Humvees, presumably National Guard, I don't know, driving through New York. Everyone's acting all freaked out and scared. It's I, I, I honestly, I think you should probably be happy that you're seeing this stuff. The National Guard is deploying to help people. We're not dealing with like, I don't know, an authoritarian crackdown from like evil government agents. We're dealing with a virus. We're not dealing with foreign invaders. We're dealing with a virus. The people who are coming from the National Guard and the army aren't showing up to like ruin your lives or oppress you. They're literally showing up to be like, we need to help you. Now, I get it. I'll be fair. I, I get freaked out a bit if a bunch of people are going to come come, uh, come to my neighborhood and try to enforce a quarantine. But I think if you're going to break a quarantine, like, come on, man, There's, we're, we're not talking about an arbitrary government saying we have now decided that no one can leave their homes for no reason. We're dealing with an outbreak that's overwhelming our hospitals and them saying, if you go outside, you could get sick and die or get other people sick and die. There is a challenge, I will admit, because governments lie. And I want to see this end quickly, but it's hard to know what to do and who to trust. It's really easy to scare people and get into giving up their rights. And I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of conspiracy theorists who are saying this is it. It's exactly what they're doing. I tend not to think so. I tend to just choose Occam's razor. And I don't believe that all of the governments of the world that are panicking and shutting down their borders, especially the European Union, which is completely undermining its entire purpose by closing internal borders in the Schengen zone. I don't see it as a grand conspiracy, man. Look, if if they really wanted to oppress and take over the world or whatever, you, you wouldn't see them undermining literally everything they've been trying to do for the past 10, 20 years, no, notably the European Union. You wouldn't all of a sudden see all of the orange man bad people now agreeing with him unless... You want to think the conspiracy goes real deep. I just don't buy it. Take a look at this video, and then we'll talk about the National Guard's response. It's a bunch of Humvees on trains moving through Chicago. Worldstar says, looks like Chicago is getting ready for that lockdown. It is true that Illinois is now implementing a shelter in place order. This is breaking news. But dude, let's just be real, man. The military moves stuff. It's, I see these videos all the time. They get sent to me. And there was this one really funny moment in internet history where some people just made up a happening. It's hilarious. They started taking old videos of, of this and claiming it was some town in Kansas and like something was happening. And it started to go viral. It was trending because everyone was in on the joke. And then eventually nobody realized that was a joke and they thought something was really going on. People were just saying like, man, I can't believe this is happening. Whoa, look at this. And everyone did it to the point where the media picked it up and they were so confused and it was a bunch of random videos. Nothing happened. Welcome to the Internet. So in response to these, we have this from the Chicago Tribune. Those trains you are seeing transporting military vehicles, Illinois National Guard says they're not part of enforcing a lockdown. They may be brought in to be used as part of a potential deployment at some time. The National Guard will probably be administering tests if they do come out. They are currently in New York and New Rochelle, so I'm not surprised we see them actually driving around. I don't understand why everybody freaks out when they see the military. It's like they've never seen the military before. I was driving through California. I saw a bunch of military vehicles driving around all the time. And I'm like, it's, it's normal, man. But this is a funny statement we have here. Check it out. At ease, Chicago. The Illinois National Guard says it's not coming to put you on lockdown. 
with Governor J.B. Pritzker confirming he is considering a shelter in place order. Um, I'm going to stop here. My understanding is they did actually do it following this. Uh, you know, this article came out earlier today. Questions arose about how it would be enforced. As trains transporting military tanks and Humvees traveled through the Chicago area the past few days, rumors took root on social media that the Illinois National Guard would play a role in imposing the directive. The guard quickly shot it down. Even in California, they're, they're saying shelter in place. But so far, no one's being arrested or anything for this. I think it's possible. Maybe. I just really don't think so. You know, look, man, the worst case scenario I think would happen if you went outside in a, during a shelter in place. First of all, people can go outside. They're saying shelter in place, but you're still allowed to go to the grocery store, walk your dog and do essential tasks. They're just saying, for the most part, stop the extracurriculars, right? Just stay in your houses. A cop might ask you, hey, what are you doing? And you can say, I'm going to get food. He'll be like, stay safe. Be careful. Follow social distancing and you'll carry on. That's about it. In the worst case scenario, because the government is trying to avoid a panic, you know what I bet would happen? Cop would pull up and say, hey, you know, we have a curfew in place. It's shelter and, you know, you're supposed to be sheltering at home. They probably just give you a ride or just say, go home. <laughs> like, I don't I don't I don't see us needing to do necessarily what China or Italy had done in terms of harsh quarantines. Spain actually arresting people. I will say young people are being really dumb going out and partying. But here's what gets funny. Uh, here's a quote. Those tanks and Humvees are not ours, said Lieutenant Colonel Bradford Lighton of the Illinois National Guard. The military moves equipment all the time by train. If we were to move, we wouldn't be doing it by train. We would drive. <laughs> you know, man, people are eating this stuff up right now. There are a lot of videos where people are like, this is it. Martial law is coming. The military is coming. Yeah, maybe. But it's like, you know, what, man, we're not seeing the end of days. It's not. I mean, you could argue, I guess we're in a happening like we're locked down, like stuff's going on. You know what I mean? We're, we're I don't think you're going to see anything like a movie where all of a sudden there's dudes in the street corner pointing guns and ordering you to go home and like throwing you in camps or anything like that. It's, we're nowhere. It's not going to happen. We're deploying our people, the military. They're us. And they're coming out to help us because we asked for help. Like, I don't know. I guess if you see yourself as an other outside of, of you know, the armed forces or law enforcement, you might view it that way. Now, I do think it's particularly important we stay, I don't know, we, we, we keep an eye on how these things unfold. If it turns out, right, there's always a risk. Governments want overreaching power. So I, I, one thing that, that I'm fearful of in all of this is that in a couple months, when all this is done, you're going to have people in government saying, mm, but we can just say it's not done and stay in control. Remind, you know, so in the event the virus actually goes away, there's like a movie about this. I think Anne Flux, that movie, in the event the virus actually goes away, these should, these all, all these provisions, everything should be, you know, returned to normal. The challenge now is just economics. And because the economy took such, such, uh, such a heavy hit, things might not be able to go back to normal. But I will point out in Italy, Military fleet carries coffins of coronavirus victims out of overwhelmed town. Italy recorded five, about 475 deaths in a single day. And the military actually did come in. It's possible the military will come in and do this kind of job. We're not seeing, you know, to a certain degree, there are armed, you know, law enforcement in Italy locking things down. In the U.S., I got bad news for y'all. As the number of dead increases, like, and we, and we may be on track to be kind of like Italy, I'm not, man, look, if we see the military come out, it's going to be something more devastating like this. They're carrying coffins of victims. They're not locking people down and oppressing people and beating them. These are young people serving their country, and they're doing a very, very difficult job. They're moving all of the bodies of those who lost their lives. And that's sad and that's scary. So here's, here's the way I kind of see it, man. As somebody who has friends and family who have been in or are currently in the military, I don't view them like others coming to oppress us. I don't freak out and say, oh, no, look at the military's coming. I say, okay, cool, look, military. And, you know, even when I was in Ferguson, the National Guard was actually out just outside of where the protests were happening. And a lot of people were freaked out and like, don't go over there. I'm like, they're just, it's like Americans, man. It's like other people. It's just a division that does a thing. And I actually chatted some people out. How's it going? Like, how you guys been? Everything going cool? Cool, man. Appreciate your help. Have a nice day. I guess there are a lot of people that never get, ex you know, never get exposed to the fact that the military is made up of regular Americans who join the military. They make assumptions about like 
jackboot stormtroopers coming to lock down and take away your rights. It's possible. I doubt it. These people have all sworn an oath to defend the Constitution. So I'm fairly confident we're going to be okay. Now, look, man, as I stated before, you're going to see a lot more of these videos. People are going to are, are going to claim there's a whole bunch of things going on. You're going to see viral videos. And I hate to say it, but man, people eat this stuff up and it bums me out because I'm looking at, you know, I look at analytics. It's part of my, my business, right? I track where people are watching. People love watching this stuff. They love watching the person claim like, you know, it's a government psyops plot to c- convince us to give up the const- you know, give up our constitutional rights and and bend over and just hand blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, man, Occam's razor, dude. The, the, there's no Illuminati. The U.S. government isn't in cahoots with China. There's not some grand scheme to make everything happen. And there's the lesser conspiracies that like they'll take advantage of it and they'll use it to their advantage. And like, yeah, they will. We'll see it. People are going to try and push their agenda. That's what they'll do. And that's why we need to make sure we hold them accountable and we stand up for the Constitution. There are limits. If this truly gets bad, then don't be surprised when people, there's just nothing to uphold. I mean, look, if a, a, a new plague wiped out majority of the world, you know, there's no one who's going to be around to defend anything. It's going to be a free for all. We're not there. That's not reality. The reality is we've got a novel virus. It's a similar circumstance. The Spanish flu 100 years ago. We got to do what we got to do. So this should this should, all of the all of these things should uh, uh, dissolve all these powers, these emergency provisions. I'm worried they won't because they tend not to. So that's what, should, we, what, we, what we should be concerned about. It's the gradual encroachment and erosion of our rights. Pay attention to what the Constitution guarantees you, and we'll make sure we'll do this right. I'll leave it there, I guess. Stick around. I got a couple more segments coming up in a few minutes, and I will see you all shortly.